Jemba. Your Highness. Odogu. Your Highness. I want you to go around to my wives and children and ask them to assemble here in one hour. Highness requires your presence and that of your children in the palace. You mean the king wants to see us? Yes, ma'am. I hope there's no problem. We wouldn't know, ma. We're only carrying out his orders. Um, have you informed the other wives and their children? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma okay, we shall be coming right away. <laughs> Yes. Mom, is anything happening at the palace? I don't know. He came by the king's guard came. He said that we are all needed at the palace immediately, so. Oh, mommy, are you sure there's nothing wrong with this island? That I don't know. We'll find out when we we'll get there. Come, come, let's go and dress up. And children, I call you all here today to tell you what has been bothering me. I am the king of this town and the head of all the kings in the entire federation. By the grace of God, I have money, which makes me one of the richest kings in the entire world. But all this wealth, I have not been able to find happiness. I am not happy. Your Highness, you are scaring us. We are no longer understanding you. Please, what is the matter? Tell us, Your Highness. Thank you. Igwe, your majesty, you are a very wealthy man, have a very wonderful family, yet you say you're not happy. What else can make you happy, your highness? What else? Your highness, everybody here knows that with the magnitude of your personality, you can buy the whole world if you want. Why are you not happy? Tell us. So I know. You've been acting strange these days. I'm afraid. Your Highness. You are our father, the husband of our mothers. For you to call us here to tell us that upon all you have in the whole world, that you don't feel happy, 
means you don't treasure us with your children and our mothers. Our father, I respect you. You see, if nothing makes you happy, at least we, your family, should be able to make you happy, your highness. Your highness, if I may ask, did anyone in this family offend you? Who might the person be? And who is he or she? so that we can know how to handle issues. Right. Your hands. Well, I thank you. I thank you all. I have heard all you said, and I have also told you what has been bothering me. I hereby decree that any person amongst my children who is able to make me happy for the rest of my life, which means that person has won over my, my heart. Whatever that person demands, I will give, even if it entails dividing my wealth into two. And apart from that, if that person happens to be a male child, he will be crowned the Eze Anoche the successor to my throne, my successor, my crown prince. I have spoken, so shall it be. His Highness say that um, whoever that will bring him happiness will inherit half of his wealth. Then, if it is a male child, he will be crowned as an ochier. It's amazing. You mean His Royal Highness is not happy with all his influence and affluence? All of this? It's only him that knows the problem. But for me, I'm not bothered about rulership or wealth. I just want to live a simple life. Mm -mm, Emeka, that's why you're wrong. It's your birthright. You're one of his sons. Beyond the wealth, you should also do it because you want to make your father happy. I know you're a good person. Besides, there's nothing wrong in my cousin, my favorite cousin becoming the youngest is an or the youngest billionaire from this part of the world <laughs> <laughs> samson you are the first son of this surreal family it is your best right to take over from his royal highness but for the fact that he has thrown it open to all his children i want you to do everything possible to make sure you make him happy. Make him happy. Don't joke with your destiny. Dibia Kaobi, Obambo Obunajo of you. Don't worry yourself, mother. I know what to do to win that prize. I know just what to do. I mean, I know His Royal Highness, my father, like the back of my hand. So, mother, don't worry. Very soon, very soon, that prize will be in my hands. 
with more than half of father's entire wealth, that would make me a very wealthy man. And I will make you proud. And of course, it will come with the title, His Royal Highness, Eza Nochie Wan Naomeze. <laughs> Samson, why are you wasting your time? You know that I'm very close to His Highness, and I, Obina, is the only person that knows the secret of his happiness. Come on, stop wasting your time. Oh, Obina, this is not a contest between you and Samson, your blood brother. You have to do everything to support him. It is his right, right. Mother, why are you referring to Samson and Obina alone? Remember, I'm the firstborn child of this family, and father didn't restrict his prize only to the boys. I'm entitled to his wealth, too. <laughs> Ada, I know you are the first child, but you are a woman. Very soon, you will leave us and join your husband and start your own family. Samson. I repeat, you must do everything possible to make sure that no one else takes this title from you. That title must come to us. Yes, mother, you're right. And I promise you, I'll do whatever I can. What do you say? I promise. Mama, I've told you to relax. Papa's happiness is in my mouth. I have not forgotten in a hurry the story he told me about his life. Okay? Just to relax. What about you, Johnson? Oh, well, Mama. They say action speaks louder than words. I don't have much to say right now, but I'm making my plan. You see, why I'm saying all this is because your brothers are working seriously on how to win this golden opportunity. Oh, come on. Mama. Please, my son. If you lose this dust gate, it's like losing your mother. Mama, why are you talking like this? Huh? Does it mean you don't know what your children are capable of doing? Anyway, if you say so, I trust my children. <laughs> That's Mama talking. <laughs> Wait, we have to believe it. Yeah, let's go to the factory, man. Yeah, let's go. So, one or two things, huh? Come on. me so much really because i'm his last child mm. he's going to reveal the secret of his happiness to me <laughs> that's me florence i hadugo must win that prize which prize what is going on here i said what is going on here mommy nothing you just we are contesting about the prize at stake at the Igwe's palace who is going to win it between both of us? I can see that both of you are out of your senses. Have you seen in Iboland where female children inherit properties where there are male children? No, Mom. Even if you win the prize, what will you do with it? Mommy, let it come first. I'll use it to build a big factory. Mommy, even me too. I'll use it to build a very big supermarket. <laughs> hey, I can see that both of you are stupid. Come on, get inside and read your books. Come on, get out. Instead of reading your books, you want something for yourself so you are here talking about rights. Eat that Am I not 
you're losing out? God. How I wish I had a male child. Drive up, Dikwe is here already. Oh, yeah, they are, Your Highness. Majesty, this car and the two SUVs are specifically designed and made for you. These are millennium vehicles. They are epitome of luxury, comfort, and durability. Look at them. Are they not wonders on wheels? So, Your Highness, when will I finally be crowned the Eza Noche as you promised? <laughs> Your Highness! Uh, Your Highness, the, the, the cars! The, 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 the cars! You reject the cars? I know you like it. <laughs> oh. Your Highness, I especially made this for you to keep your feet agile, to give you infinite youth and happiness forever. Thank you. Thank you, my son. I know you like it. <laughs> <laughs> you see, Abinna, this place will give me agony. <laughs> Not happiness. Uh, fa fa
the Bible says, man shall not live by bread alone. knowledge well as far as I'm concerned I'm not bothered I'm content with what I have mm -mm, mm -mm. look you're a very good man if anybody stands any chance of winning that prize I think it must be you Chimobi what can I do to make his highness happy when he has everything that's why you're wrong you can do a lot just just give it a try Look, you must win this prize. <laughs> okay. You say so. Finally, I have that that will make you happy. And it's a surprise. What is it? Just wait one minute. Your Highness, as it pleases you, these damsels are the millennium thing for happiness. You can make your choice, or you have them all. Igwe, you need just one minute. Come, Jovi. Take a look. Igwe, body massage. You need it, Igwe. Go back. And you? Oh yeah, turn around. Igwe. For pedicure. It will be well taken care of. And you, move it. Oh yeah? Turn around, Igwe. She will take care of your manicure. You wouldn't have a problem with that. Come on, move it. Oh yeah? 
Turn around. Igwe, she will take care of your body cure. You wouldn't have problem with that. Move. And you. <laughs> Turn around. Oh, oh, that's my girl. Igwe, this will take care of every cure. You wouldn't worry about any other thing. Come on. Back to your life. And you. The last, but not the least. Come on. Move it. Oh, yeah. Turn around. Igwe. This is a multivitamin. Igwe. She will make you look younger. All this, your highness, they are for you. Have them, and happiness will be yours. I thought you loved me. So you want to kill me? I have five wives, including your mother. And then you go and bring me these young ladies. I cannot find happiness. I can only find death. to utilize the very golden opportunity given to you after all the promises you made to me that you will win oh don't talk like that mother how can you talk like that do you know how much it cost me to buy those powerful vehicles that father rejected they cost me quite a pocket so what even if they cost you more than 100 million dollars did they succeed in making the king happy well uh, at least i tried what else could i have done what else don't ask stupid questions both of you must put your big heads together and find out something that you will do to make the king happy. Or else! I told you, when I said I am the firstborn child of this family, that I am the only one who can make father happy, you laughed at me. So, have you succeeded? Nonsense. Is that not your one? to sleep off. Samson, let's do something. Come on, Samson. Come on, let's do something, Samson. Hmm. Come. Anubaja also. Abaya Jebwe. This time we will not miss. We will not miss. I'm giving you only one week to make sure that you do everything possible to win the prize at stake. If you fail, I will disown you. Ha! Huh, Mama, how can you disown your own children? My blood brothers, because of immaterial. Shut things. up! Do you know what it takes to be the ace on it? Do you? I have spoken. I have spoken! What are you going to do now?
<laughs> my son, Prince Yebube. The Highness. The rightful heir to my throne. You are more handsome than the eagle. May the gods of our ancestors continue to keep you alive. It shall be well with you. The Highness. Please play this oboe for me. I love the reading. It makes you happy? Yes. <laughs> okay, now listen. requires your presence in his palace. Don't ask questions and do what you have to do. I don't have any business in the palace. I said his royal highness requires your presence in his palace right now. And I said I don't have any business in the palace. What do you mean you don't have any I don't business have in the palace? My friend, let's go. Leave me, I don't have any business in the palace. Oh. You don't have any business in the palace. Yes. Your Highness, the Bobo refused to follow us. And did you tell him that it was I who wanted to see him? He said he has nothing to do with the past. I see. Well, you will go back, take some armed guards, and go and bring him here. can just think. Chimobi, but you know we are restricted from coming to this area. But you can see, Mama, there's nobody here. I'm just all alone. Who are you, by the way, to keep His Royal Highness with him and you're here playing ball? I said, I don't have any business in the palace. <laughs> his Highness requires your presence in his palace and you must go with us now. Let me make myself clear. I don't have any business in the palace. 
And I mean it. I said you must go with us. I am not going anywhere. I don't have any business in the palace. Hey, stay away, woman. Please, gentlemen, if I may ask, what is the matter? His Highness requested his presence in the palace, and he refused going with us. And I said, I am not going. You must go with us! I don't have any business in the palace. Agumba. Hey! Because you are not pleased. He will. Just hold on. No. No. No, please. You must go with them. For the past 28 years, this is the first time the Igwe is sending for you. Please, you must go with them. Please. I am not going anywhere, Mama. I'm not going anywhere. Hey, Nambikozian. Nambikozian. They have guns. They should kill me. Hey, Nambikozian. Nambikozian. Mama, Mama, stand up. So sorry, Your Highness. Where did you learn to play that instrument? Nobody taught me, Your Highness. It's a God-given talent. Uh, can you play it for me? If it pleases, Your Highness. Yes. It pleases me. Olamma, Your Highness. Olamma. You are Chimo. Yes, Your Highness. My son. What, what, what did you say, Your Highness? You. Ah, my son. Chumobi, what kept you? What happened at the palace? You're worried. Mama, sit down. Sit down. Sit down. Mama, I want to ask 
ask you something very important. What is it? I want you to tell me the truth. Who am I in this palace? What do you mean by that? His Royal Highness called me his son. But you told me he's just my uncle. And that my father died so many years ago. Who am I, Mama? Did he call you his son? Or he said you are his son? Uh, Mama, stop talking in radios. I said I want to know the truth. I was only protecting you. Protecting me from what? From who? Who is my father? I said, who is my father? It's a long story. Very long story. My fellow elders, I repeat, that Udoji had desecrated this land by mixing up with Osu people. Yes! Two weeks ago, Udoji attended the burial ceremony of an Osu man. I saw him with my two eyes last week. And an Osu daughter was doing her traditional marriage. And Udoji attended it. He must be banished. He must be banished. And with his family. My fellow elders, let us look before we, we act. Eh? Look, I suggest we take him to the Igwe for final judgment. Please. Let's go to his house and drag him and his family to the palace. He must leave this time. Please, you no, this time no, he must leave this time. According to what we resolved at our last meeting, we concluded that uh, all the negative laws in our society must be amended. It is true, my predecessor did not um, change any of the archaic laws and traditions, but these are changing times. Christianity and tradition have come closer together. Laws are made for man. And we must always have the courage to change them for the, for the benefit of society. And also, if any of our unmarried daughters becomes pregnant, then the new law demands that she marries the man who pregnates her if she wants to marry him. Secondly, you must leave this. What, 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 what is the meaning of this? What is the meaning of this? Why must you budge into the palace like that? Don't you have respect? Your Highness. You must leave. You must leave. Go. You must leave. You must leave. Go. You must leave. You must go. You must go. Go there. Go there. Your Highness, this stupid man called Doji committed an abomination in our land and he must be banished. And what did he commit? He has been dealing with two Mosu people, attending the activities, eating with them. That's why we decided to banish him. He even attended a burial ceremony of an Osu man. His family were in, in, in a wedding ceremony in the same of Sudan. Mm. Mm. What, what did you say your name is? Ichiobuha is my name, Your Highness. And uh, you want me to banish this man and his family? Your Highness, they committed those offenses. We saw them with our eyes. Doka, bring the color note. I said I will 
Udoji and his family upon one condition. If any of you who claim not to have had anything to do with the Osu people can have this, this kola nut and eat it, if nothing happens, then I will banish them. accusing fingers are as guilty as the people they accuse. What we cannot admit in public, we must not do in secret. I hereby decree that there will be nothing, nothing like Osu or caste system in this land ever again. Udoji. Your Highness. You are free to go home. And nobody will ever intimidate you again. Thank you, Your Highness. Thank go you, your way Highness. in peace. You will live long. And you, you are supposed to be leaders in this society. This kind of shameful scenario must never repeat itself again. Is that clear? Yes, yes sir. Get out of my palace. You see what we've been saying? How prudent it has been that we have taken the decision to abolish some of this account laws that have been suffocating us. You see the importance of making sure that we drag our people by the scruff of their neck and bring them into the 21st century. Exactly, Your Highness. Yes. Your Highness, we don't know how to thank you for all you have done for us. This is why we have come with these little goods and call them out in our procession. I know you have everything in abundance, but we don't know how else to thank you. Please, accept this. Mazi mm. Udoji, you know I don't need these things, as you said. You know, I have thousands and thousands of goats in my farm, and I have uh, a Kula nut plantation. Why not remember what I just said? I know you have everything in abundance. But this is a gift. How else can we say thank you to you? Please, accept it. All right. All right, I will accept it. Thank you. here is my daughter. Oh. To show my own appreciation of what you did for us, I'm begging you to please take her. I want her to serve you for at least two years. Don't pay her anything. Let her clean your palace. In fact, any domestic work, she's very hardworking. No, 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 no. I, 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 I can't accept her. You see, I have over 200 people doing the job you're asking for. Your Highness, we know that, but you pay them. We say you should not pay our daughter. Please, please take her. If you don't take her, my conscience won't be, won't be at rest. Please. Your Highness, please, please accept her. All right, I'll accept her. Thank, Thank you, Your Highness. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.
over me last night. I, His Royal Majesty, is he will be one of Amaz Am Amazi. Making love to my, to my own mate. What if someone had caught us at it? It would have been an unmitigated disaster. from the strong room. Yes, Your Highness. Uh, Kunta, you know the new uh, maid um, called uh, Olama. Go and bring her here right now. Shall I be done, Your Highness? decided that keeping you here in my palace as a maid is not a good idea. So simply to satisfy your parents. So I want you to take that money, buy some things for yourself and for your parents, keep the balance and go home. Thank you very much, Your Highness. But, Your Highness, I would have loved to stay longer. I don't want to go home yet. Uh, Olama, you have to go. Um, you have some things in your room. I think you should go and get them and go home. Okay. Your Highness, have I done anything wrong? Please forgive me if I have. I'm so sorry, Your Highness. No, Lama, you have not done anything wrong. You have not. I think you should go home. Hey, Kenna. Your Highness. Your Highness. I want you to take this young lady to the gate after she has packed her things and tell them at the gate that I said they should let her go. Your Highness. And the one you used to buy all this cloth? Yes, mama. Everything. Everything. Eh? <laughs> Hallelujah, Chimo. You have a Chibi Mena. Every year, my father, my Eh? May God continue to bless him. Amen. May he rule this town, Amaze, forever. Yes, mama. Eh? Hola, mama. Yes, papa. When did he say you should come back? He said I should not come back, papa. You should not come back? Yes. I don't believe you. You haven't told me the truth. 
something is wrong. Hola, ma. Yes, Papa. Are you sure you haven't done anything wrong? Did you do anything wrong to him, Papa? Because if I go there and find that you've done something wrong, you will not live to see tomorrow. Ah, Papa, I didn't do anything mm. wrong to him. I hope so. Mama, I didn't do anything. Uh, I didn't do anything wrong to him. Make sure you move nothing from this moment. Good year. Nice. Everything here should be left in fact till I come back. Am I clear? Yes. Send her home because I don't think it's a good thing for her to be here serving me as a maid. But Audrey, I want you to take a very good care of that girl. She is brilliant and industrious. Your Royal Highness, you see, I've been so worried since you came home. Mm. I was so worried. But now you said. She has done nothing wrong. No, nothing. Nothing at all. I feel so happy. Very, very happy. And I can now get to my, back to my house. The peace of mind. And uh, your Royal Highness, thank you for all the gifts you give me. Oh. Thank it's you. A, it's a pleasure. Thank you. It's a pleasure. I'm grateful. Now, give my regards to your family and uh, especially your wife. I'll do that. Thank you. Once again. You're welcome. <laughs> You are pregnant. Hey! Pregnant. You are pregnant, all a man. I'm not pregnant, too. I'm hey! Pregnant too. Nay, come on! What is it? Nay, all a man is pregnant. She's pregnant, in Nay! Hey! All a man. It's a man. All a man. Hey! All a man. Hey! Is it? No, I'm not pregnant. Who did it to you? Who did it to you? Are you deaf? Who put this in your stomach? Which man did you sleep with? Tell, which man did you sleep with? Ezi. Which Ezi? Ezi Bube. Hey! Ezi Bube. Eh? His Royal eh? Highness. Oh, Lama, you have finished me. You have killed me. Our king. Hey. Should I go to Igwe 
and tell him that he has impregnated my daughter. He will fall people. How do I do it? How do I start? I'm so confused. How can I make such an allegation to a man who saved me and my family from troubles and destruction? Is this the best way to say thank you? Mm. Allahumma, you have killed me. Allahumma, you have killed me. On the other hand, I cannot have a bastard in my house. Never. Now, nah. stop contemplating. We have to take a decision. Take a decision. Mm -hmm. What decision do we take? We go there. What do we do? Now, nah. I have an idea. Yes. Let me take Olama to my village so she can stay with my mother until she delivers her baby. No. Huh? She will not go anywhere. I will personally take Olamma to Igwe and let him reap what he has sown. Don't ever repeat such a thing. Igwe will deal with us after all he has done for us. Igwe has to be told the truth. He has to see reason or face the consequences of his action. Nine. Nine. Hmm. Eh. Nine. As for you, see what you have for 